Welcome guys to the Crochet Bits channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this beautiful square that later on I'm going to use for the crochet bag. So this is a five petal flower and then we will form a square around it. So if you want to learn how to do it, you're welcome to join me. For this video tutorial I'm going to use 4 millimeters crochet hook and medium worsted weight yarn all leftovers that you have really to perfect get rid of them and we will start with the magic ring now chain three and make 10 double crochet into the circle one two three Four, five. Please go on making double crochet. Ten in total. Now pull the tail to close the circle and join with slip stitch into first double crochet. Like this. Make chain one and cut the yarn. Now we are going to change the color. Join yarn into the same stitch where you did a slip stitch. Chain three and now into the same stitch, go on working into the same stitch, make two half double crochet. One, two. Now two half double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, and again two, two half double crochet into this, the next stitch. And go on making two double crochet in each stitch around. At the end of this round you will get 20 half double crochet. Please go on and finish this round. So now join into the first half double crochet. Make a slip stitch. chain three one two three and into the same stitch make one double crochet into the same stitch where you did a slip stitch and again into the same stitch make one treble crochet yarn over twice one two Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Into the next stitch, make one treble crochet. Go on working into the same stitch. One double treble crochet, yarn over the hook three times. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So in total four times. And again into the same stitch, one treble crochet. Perfect. 
perfect now into the next stitch one treble crochet and one double crochet one treble crochet and one double crochet into the same stitch now make a slip stitch into the next stitch one petal is ready and let's repeat so one double crochet into the next stitch then one treble crochet into the same stitch into the next stitch one treble crochet one double treble crochet into the same stitch then one treble crochet again here then one treble crochet into the next stitch Now one double crochet into the same stitch. And slip stitch. So that's how it looks. Let's make a little bit faster the third pedal. One double crochet into the next stitch. And here one treble crochet. Then into the next stitch one treble crochet, one double treble crochet and one treble crochet. And into the next stitch one treble crochet again. Now one double crochet and slip stitch into the next stitch. Do it go on repeating for two more petals. Now cut the yarn, pull the tail. Now you may use a yarn needle or a tapestry needle or a hook. Let's join. So just here underneath both loops. And now into the center of the last stitch. Weave in end. Small knot. And cut the yarn. This one also. And this one. That's what we have. Now attach new color yarn into the top of double treble crochet here. Any petal. Touch, chain one and one single crochet into the same stitch.
Now into the next stitch where you did a treble crochet, make one extended single crochet. So yarn over the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. After that, into the next stitch, make one half double crochet. Now where you did double crochet, make one double crochet. And into the slip stitch, so between petals, make one extended treble crochet. Here. Yarn over hook twice. One, two. Insert the hook and draw up a loop. Now yarn over and pull through only first loop, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So we did extended treble crochet. Now into the, the next stitch where you did double crochet, make again double crochet, then in the next stitch half double crochet then extended single crochet, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Into the center, like we did at the beginning, make one single crochet. And you are done and that's what we are going to repeat. Let's do it again. One extended single crochet, then one half double crochet, then one double crochet between petals, one extended treble crochet, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through only first loop on your hook, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now again, double crochet, then half double crochet, then extended single crochet, then single crochet, And repeat again what you have just done. Let's do it for the last time. One extended single crochet into the next stitch, then one half double crochet, one double crochet. And in between here, yarn over hook twice, yarn over pull through only first loop, then yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, and yarn over pull through two. After that, chain three, you see chain three. So around this chain three, make one double crochet. Then one half double crochet, extended single crochet, then single crochet, and repeat everything till the end. That's what we have at this moment. Let's join into first single crochet with slip stitch. And now for the last round, chain three and into the same stitch, make 
three extended double crochet yarn over insert the hook draw up a loop yarn over pull through only first loop then yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so this is one extended double crochet make three in total so we are forming corner now this is the second one and the third one now chain one and three more extended double crochet into the same stitch yarn over insert the hook draw up a loop yarn over pull through one loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so one two and three the corner is ready now make one double crochet into the next stitch again one double crochet into the next stitch then one half double crochet into the next stitch one more half double crochet into the next stitch now make single crochet one half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and again one double crochet into the next stitch and now let's form corner again into the next stitch make three extended double crochet chain one and then gain three extended double crochet pull through one pull through two pull through two yarn over and again pull through one pull through two pull through two and the third time now chain one and repeat the corner again A little bit faster so here how it looks now make one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch then half double crochet then half double crochet into the next stitch and single crochet and again one half double crochet one half double crochet one double crochet one double crochet and corner again three extended double crochet chain one three extended double crochet please go on and finish this round at the end cut the yarn and let's join it underneath both loops of first extended double crochet pull the tail and then into the center of the last double crochet like this now make a knot and weave in ends
Okay, so no. Cut the yarn. And that's it. The square is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, check the written instruction on my blog, link down in the description box. If you're looking for more Granny Square tutorials, you can find them on my YouTube channel as well. Thank you again and I hope to see you soon in my next video tutorials. Bye for now!